as well. Now, our birds will lay their eggs in our nest boxes that we've given them in the back there. So we haven't got all 15 of our birds out at the moment, and that's because we've actually got some sitting. And that's the sort of thing I do my best to spray around as much as possible. Uh, and of course, it's important, obviously, they've got their quarters from around them. We want to be encouraging them to use uh, as much of this space as possible. So we want them to be nice and active. And uh, one way that we can actually see if they've been active or not is that our penguin team can actually blush. Uh, so just like you and I, if we go a little bit uh, overexert ourselves on a hot day, we might be a little bit rosy cheeks. So it's not our own charity, it's just one we support, uh, but it's called... So the population of penguins is also declining, and they also look to protect air... Uh, if you are interested in any of our island feedings, we do have a little feed. And then we have one of our things that we this afternoon. Can you tell them that? Wow! How about getting another shirt? I'm getting another tooth. Not on the back, not on the front slide. <laughs> You must have got something there, surely. Yeah, Wow! 
Some pancakes. Oh, I'm getting quite hungry. So am I. Mummy, where are my pancakes? Oh, they're in the We are going to read the book Peppa's Clubhouse Adventure from Peppa Pig Collection of Books. Peppa and her friends are in their clubhouse. Hmm, what game shall we play today? asked Mandy Mouse. Let's be adventurous, says Susie Sheep. Yes. Says Peppa. And outside is the forest full of wild animals. The adventurers wait inside the clubhouse for an animal to appear. Daddy, Daddy, whispers Peppa through the window. You have to be a wild animal. Ho, ho, I think I can manage that. Daddy Pig pretends to be a wild animal snorting through the forest. Laughs. <laughs> we need more wild animal. Mandy asked her mommy to join the game. I can be a wild animal too, says Mommy Mouse. Squeak, squeak. Hmm, a squeaky mouse is not even a little bit exciting, Mommy. Mandy frowns. <coughs> Mommy Mouse tries again. 
She makes a little growling sound. Then, Penny polar bears, mummies have decided to join in. Polar bears are good at growling. The adventures peep out at the wild animals. We should make the game even more exciting. Let's pretend there is a jungle outside with the jungle animals. <gasps> squeak, squeak, snort, snort. Jasmine, Mr. Lion, the zookeeper arrives. Oh, Mr. Lion tells everyone that he is looking for some animals that escaped from the zoo. <gasps> I hear noises coming from this way. Hmm, says Daddy Pig. That was just us. Should we be worried about the escaped animals? Asked Mummy Mouse. No. They are... Penguins! <laughs> Shout Peppa and her friends. The escaped penguin and friends are wandering around the playground. <gasps> you cheeky things! says Mr. Lion. Hello, penguins, says Peppa. Would you like to see our clubhouse? One by one, the penguins follow Peppa inside. Look, they like the swing. On the slide. They are enjoying the spring on the seesaw. On the slide. Penguins love the clubhouse. Everyone loves the clubhouse. Peppa and her friends are there, clubhouse, pretending to be adventurous. Every time they peep out of the window, a new wild animal appears. The end. Hope you all enjoyed reading this book with us. See you soon on another one. Until then, bye.
Lady Pepper and her family are going to make pancakes. I'm not pancakes. So do I. Me too. <laughs> Everybody loves pancakes, don't they, children?
啊，跟你的妹谈恋爱。Me too. Everybody loves pancakes, don't they, children? But tell me, how do you make a pancake? Easy. You just put eggs, milk, and flour in this bowl and stir them. Then we cook the mixture in this pattern to make a pancake. Ah. And most important of all. I have to flip the pancakes high into the air. Are you sure you want to flip the pancakes, Daddy Pig? Last time, the pancakes got stuck to the ceiling. And they're still there. Look! <laughs> there are lots of pancakes stuck to the ceiling. Ah, yes. But that won't happen this time. Everyone like on their pancake. Can I have a piece of my pancake? Good shot, Pepper. I think I have apples on my. I can squeeze a lemon on my pancake. Sure. Yeah. Think of a fruit you'd like for your pancake, George. Strawberries. George loves strawberries. Fancy doing after we've eaten our pancakes? We can go to the park and feed the ducks. Good idea, Peppa. Or we could go for a ride on Grandpa Pig's train. Yes, yes, Grandpa Pig's train, and I can see all my friends. Or we can take a trip in this rabbit's helicopter.
跟你的妹子谈恋爱。哦，那谈恋爱？是啊。Me too. Everybody loves pancakes. 人类就是。
Me too. <laughs> Everybody loves pancakes, don't they, children?
Hello everyone, today we are going to read another amazing Peppa Pig book. But this one is Stomp and Roar. And of course, it's a noisy one. So we we'll have five amazing sounds that we will be going through each and every one without delay. So without wasting any more time, let's dive straight into it and make sure to watch till the end. Miss Rabbit is taking everyone on a day out. We're here, she calls, stopping the bus. Welcome to Grampy Rabbit's Dinosaur Park, booms Grampy Rabbit. Dinosaur, roar, says George. George loves dinosaurs. But real dinosaurs died out 65 million years ago, says Edmund Elephant. Yes, so we've got singing dinosaurs, says Grumpy Rabbit proudly. Um, they're a bit small, says Pepper. Well, we've got a real whopper of a dinosaur too, adds Grumpy Rabbit. Come on. Let's follow its footsteps. Wow. Grampy Rabbit leads them to an enormous slide. Wee cries Pepper. Are you ready for even more an adventure? Grampy Rabbit asks. Yes. Everyone shouts. <laughs> now we have to find a giant dinosaur egg, says Grampy Rabbit. Freddy Fox quickly tracks it down with his excellent sense of smell. Is it real? asks Pepper. It's better than real. It's pretend, replies Grampy Pig. <gasps> At the end of the day, Grampy Pig asks everyone to sing a special song. Copy me, he shouts. Do the stomp, do the dinosaur stomp. Do the roar, do the dinosaur roar, stomp, 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 roar, roar, roar. Roar! Grampy Pig's Dinosaur Park has been the best day out ever another amazing book we read today peppa pig stomp and roar i'm sure you all love this book and if you did and if you haven't already please subscribe and watch all our other videos so for now thanks for watching till the end and we'll see you next time hello everyone today we're going to read peppa pig Beep, beep, brum, George's noisy vehicle book. With five amazing sounds that we will be all hearing from. And of course, this will be from your favourite character, George Pig. So let's not waste any more time and just jump straight into it. Peppa and her family are going for a picnic in the countryside. Hooray, cries Peppa. I love picnics. George loves picnics too, but he wants to stay at home and play with his toys. Cheer up, George. We'll have a lovely day, says Daddy Pig, beeping his horn. <coughs> beep, beep, giggles George. He likes their noisy red car. 
off the drive down the hill. But what's that noise? Is it Mr. Zebra's post van? We're stuck in a traffic jam, says Mr. Zebra. Oh dear, says Daddy Pig. This isn't a good start. Honk, honk, laughed George. At last, they're on the move. But what's that noise? Is it Mr. Boo's digger? Moo, you have to wait, bellows Mr. Boo. We're digging up the road. Not another delay, cries Mummy Pig. Dig, 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 laughs George. At last, Mr. Boo is finished and off they go. But what's that noise? Is it a fire engine? You have to wait while I put out this fire, shouts Mrs. Sheep. Nina, cries George, bouncing up and down on the back seat. At last, the fire is put out. And off they go. But what's that noise? Is it a train? Daddy Pig has to stop while the train whizzes past. Choo choo, laughed George. Can we go home for our picnic? asks Pepper. What a good idea, says Mummy Pig. But George doesn't want to go home. He's loved seeing all the noisy vehicles. Cheer up, George, says Pepper. You'll be able to play with all your noisy toys. And he does. Wow, what a wonderful book we have read today. I'm sure you all would have loved this book. And if you did, don't forget to subscribe and check out all our other books too. So for now, see you next time. And thanks for watching till the end. Today we are going to read Peppa Pig, Peppa's Super Noisy Sound Book with 18 fantastic sounds that we will be exploring all together. So, shall we start reading? Pepper's Super Noisy Soundbook. <laughs> it's a very rainy day. Pepper and Georgia in their house. We are going to have a quiet day inside. There's a bobby pig. Oh, says Pepper and George, disappointed. Pepper and George love going outside to play. Ho, ho, cheer up, you two, smiles Daddy Pig. You can help me mend the kitchen cupboard. Kitchen cupboards are boring, says Pepper. I don't like my rain. He he snort giggles George Just then the telephone rings it's Miss Rabbit Rebecca Rabbit's mummy <coughs> Can
Can Rebecca and Richard come to play? She asks. Of course, says Mummy Pig. Yippee, cheers Pepper. Hee <laughs> hee. <laughs> Rebecca and Richard arrive. Richard has brought his brand new toy car. And George has his toy, Mr. Dinosaur. <laughs> Dinosaur, Grr, growls George. Pepper and George get out their musical toys and make a lot, lots of noise. He <laughs> loves Pepper very proud of herself. Hooray to Re Rebecca and Richard. Now Susie's sheep has arrived. And Mummy Pig has made lunch for everyone. Gobble, gobble, mmm. Delicious. Burp. Burps, Pepper. Excuse me. <laughs> hee hee. It stopped raining, says Mummy Pig. Let's take the leftover bread and feed the ducks. Shall we give them carrots? Rebecca Rabbit likes carrots. I think the ducks would prefer bread. Smiles Mummy Pig. It's not quack, says George. <coughs> Jumping up and down. Pepper, George, says Mummy Pig. Let, let Daddy put on your rain boots first. Let, yes, George, says Pepper. If you jump in muddy puddles, you must wear your boots. We're going to see the ducks. We're going to see the ducks, sings Pepper. George, Susie, Rebecca and Richard will join in very loudly. Ho, ho, laughs Daddy Pig. What a lovely song. But you don't have to sing it quite so loud. Hello, Mrs. Duck, cries Pepper. <coughs> Throwing some crumbs. I hope you're hungry. It's Richard's first time feeding the ducks, and he's a bit scared. Don't be scared, Richard, says Pepper. They won't hurt you. Watch me. Pepper shows Richard how to feed the ducks. Quack, 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 shouts Richard. Dinosaur. Shouts George. Goo. Hee <laughs> hee. Silly George laughs Pepper. You always say dinosaur for everything. Why don't you find some muddy puddles to jump in, says Mummy Pig. <laughs> Yippee, Pepper shouts. Splish, splash. <laughs> Everyone is having a wonderful, noisy time jumping and splashing. Here is Daddy Dog and his mummy. Daddy Dog jumps in a great big puddle. Squelch. Oops, 
He splashed Daddy Pig's glasses. Oh dear, says Daddy. Now Daddy will be grumpy. I am not grumpy, says Daddy Pig. How about a nice game of hide and seek, suggests Mummy Pig. Yippee, shouts Pepper. I'm brilliant at seeking. <laughs> Everyone hides while Pepper covers her eyes and counts to ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten. George isn't very good at hiding. He stands by a tree with his eyes closed. Pepper thinks this is very funny and decides to surprise him. Very quickly, she creeps up behind him. Snort, grunts Pepper loudly. Oh dear, George is very surprised and drops Mr. Dinosaur into a muddy puddle. Wah! <coughs> George starts to cry. <coughs> Sorry, George, says Pepper. All the parents have come to collect the children. It's time to go home. Goodbye, everyone, cheers Pepper. Everyone waves goodbye. Ho, ho, chuckles Daddy. Peace at last. It's time for Pepper and George to go to bed. First, they brush their teeth. Now let's have a nice, quiet bedtime story, says Mummy Pig. What shall we read? asks Daddy Pig. Can we have one all about music? asks Pepper. I love music. Daddy begins a bedtime story. It's about two very noisy piggies playing their very noisy musical instruments. Pepper, George, and even Mr. Dinosaur <laughs> joining in all the action. Grrr, roar, growls George. He <laughs> laughs Pepper. Pepper and George are a little bit sleepy. George starts to feel asleep first. <coughs> that wasn't a very quiet day, giggles Pepper, yawning. No, it was a very noisy day, Pepper. But Pepper is already fast asleep. <laughs> and that's it from today's book. Peppa Pig, Peppa's Super Noisy Sound Book with 18 amazing sounds. I'm sure you all would have loved this book, and if you do, please consider subscribing so you can explore some of the more amazing books we have. So, goodbye for now, and see you next time. Today we are going to read Peppa Pig Talent Show, and this is also a sound book with 18 brilliant sounds all here. Come, let's read. Peppa Pig's Talent Show Sound Book. 
Peppa and George are going to a talent show. They can't wait. Have you got everything? Said us, Mummy Pig. Nearly, says Peppa. I just need to put on my boots. George nods. He is bringing his xylophone. <laughs> The theatre is very busy. Everyone has come to watch the talent show. Daddy Pig opens the door. Listen, I can hear music. Hurry, Daddy, says Pepper. We don't want to miss the start. Daddy, Pig's, Dad, Daddy Pig finds their tickets when they all sit down. Miss Rabbit steps out onto the stage. Hello, she says, shaking her tambourine. Are you ready to sing, dance and have some fun? A talent is something you like doing and good at, said Miss Rabbit. Our first talented performer is Madame Gazelle. Madison, Madame Gazelle plays her electric guitar. It's very noisy. Thank you, everyone, she says. It is Pedro Pony's turn next. He is dressed up as a magician. I am going to use magic to make Danny disappear, he says. Please close your eyes. Woo, says Peppa and her friends. Closing their eyes, Pedro quickly puts a blanket over Danny Dog's head. He waves his hand. Now open your eyes, says Pedro. Danny has just disappeared. Freddy Fox leaps up, but I can see his feet. He shouts. Everyone gasps. Danny is hiding underneath a blanket. Wasn't that fun, says Miss Rabbit. Now let's have a big cheer for Mr. Boo, Freddy Fox and Zoe Zebra. Zoe plays the maracas. Mr. Boo blows into a big brass music yeah. instrument. What's that? gasps Pepper. It's called a tuba. Zoe and Mr. Bull play on. Freddy smiles and waves. What's what's that talent? <laughs> Freddy lifts up a silver triangle. At the end of the song, he hits her. Everybody claps. Well done, Freddy. <laughs> Susie Sheep comes on next. That's my best friend says Peppa. My talent is blowing bubbles, says Susie. She dips a stick into some bubble mixture and blows. A big bubble appears. The audience gasps. Thank you, Susie, says Miss Rabbit. And now for someone with a sporty talent. That's me, cries Mandy Mouse. She bumps the basketball up and down the stage. Mandy finishes bouncing and the audience gives her a big clap. Daddy Pig stands up. Follow me, George, he whispers. You are next. Good luck, says Peppa. <coughs> Hello again, says Miss Rabbit. It's time to introduce our youngest performer, George. Peppa and Mummy Pig are getting ready to cheer. Oh, cries Peppa. Where is he? Everyone gasps. The stage is empty. George is hiding behind the curtain. He's feeling a little bit shy. Would you like me to go for first, says Daddy Pig. George nods. Daddy Pig goes on, on stage. He plays the drums. George loves Daddy Pig's drumming. He comes out with his xylophone. The audience cheers. Hooray! Well done, George, cries Pepper. Daddy Pig finishes his song, but George keeps on playing. Time to come off now, says P P Daddy Pig, taking him up. Wow, cries George. Thank you, 
the audience claps. Thank you, George and Daddy Pig, says Miss Rabbit. Wendy Wolf is ready for her turn. My talent is howling, she says proudly. Ooh! Ooh, says Pepper. Says Pepper and her friends. Everyone, everybody in the theatre claps loudly. What an unusual talent. We are going to read George's potty. Peppa and Susie Sheep are having a tea party at Peppa's house. Would Teddy like some tea? asks Susie. Suddenly, sniff, sniff. Oh, says Susie. What's that smell? Poo poo, says George. Mummy calls Peppa. George needs the potty. It's a little late for that, says Mummy Pig, sniffing. Hmm. Let's get you cleaned up, George. Yay, cries George. Mummy says, Peppa, why can't George use the toilet like I do? He's a bit little for that, replies Mummy Pig. First, he needs to learn how to use the potty. I used to sit on the potty like this, George, says Peppa, using Teddy to show him. George, next time you need to go, call the magic word, potty, says Mummy Pig. Potty, says George. A. Cheer, Peppa and Susie. Peppa, Susie and George are pretending to be giants. Fee fo fo, cries Peppa. I smell the smell of your fresh George. He 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 he, says George, hurrying to hide. Peppa soon finds George's hiding place. Got you, she says. We says George, giggling. Daddy calls Peppa. George needs the party. Remember George, says Daddy Big. When you need to poo-poo or wee-wee, just to say, party. Peppa starts to sing. The magic word is party. So when you go to go, call her out for your party. The magic word is party. Party. George calls. Well then, George, says Peppa. Just like that. Party. George cries again. Party. Oh, says Daddy Pig, chuckling. I think George actually wants his party. Yay. Now, George is almost grown up, says Peppa. Just like me, everyone. Cheers. Hooray. Everyone loves learning to use the party. Everyone loves learning to use the party. George loves learning to use the party. Hope you like watching this video. Please subscribe to watch more videos.
family are going to make pancakes. Me too. <laughs> Everybody loves pancakes. Just say, children. But tell me, how do you make a pancake? Easy. You just put egg, milk, and flour in this bowl and stir them together. Ooh. Then we cook the mixture in this pattern to make a pancake. Ah. And most important of all. I have to flip the pancakes high into the air. Are you sure you want to flip the pancakes, Daddy Pig? Last time, the pancakes got stuck to the ceiling. I <laughs> There are lots of pancakes stuck to the ceiling. Ah, yes. But that won't happen this time. Everyone like on that pancake. Can I have a beer? My pancake. Good shot, Pepper. I think I'll have apples on mine. I can squeeze a lemon on my pancake. That's sure. Think of a fruit you'd like on your pancake, George. Strawberries. <laughs> George loves strawberries. What do you all fancy doing after we've eaten our pancakes? We can go to the park and see the ducks. Good idea, Pepper. Yeah. Or we could go for a ride on Grandpa Pig's train. Yes, yeah, yes, yeah. Grandpa Pig's train. And I can see all my friends. Or we can take a trip in Miss Rabbit's helicopter. family and friends in 12 brilliant little books. See, we have got Mummy Pig, Daddy Pig, George, Peppa, Candy Cat, Danny Dog, Freddy Fox, Gerald Giraffe, Kylie Kangaroo, Petro Pony, Susie Sheep, Zoe Zebra. We are going to read one by one from this wonderful collection of Peppa's family and friends. So, what shall we start with? Yeah, we'll start with Peppa. This is Peppa Pig. She lives with her mommy and daddy and her little brother, George. Peppa and her family have a red car. Beep, beep. Where are we going today? Asked Peppa. Peppa loves going to Diggerwald with her family. It's fun when we all play together, says Peppa. Sometimes 
Peppa visits Granny and Grandpa Pig. They are part of her family too. Can we stay for tea? Asked Peppa. There are lots more members in Peppa's family. Baby Alexander is the youngest. Everyone in Peppa's family is different. But there is one thing that they all like to do. <gasps> Jump in muddy puddles. Peppa loves her family. Everyone loves Peppa. Shall we read our next book? Zoe Zebra. This is Peppa's friend, Zoe Zebra. Zoe's daddy is the postman. Hello, Peppa, says Zoe. This letter is for you. Thank you, Zoe, says Peppa. Zoe has twin baby sisters called Zaza and Zuzu. Zaza and Zuzu want to join in with a big girl sleepover. Oh, says Peppa. They are so sweet and little. Zoe has a lovely princess outfit. She puts it on when Peppa comes to play. I am Princess Zoe, says Zoe. Peppa snorts. And I am Princess Peppa. Zoe's mommy does pottery. Sometimes she lets Zoe and Peppa do pottery too. Let's make teacups, says Peppa. Good idea, agrees Zoe. Peppa has lots of fun with her friend, Zoe. Zoe's favorite thing is cuddling her toy monkey. And having tea parties with Peppa. Peppa loves Zoe Zebra. Everyone loves Zoe Zebra. Next is Susie's sheep. This is Peppa's friend Susie's sheep. Susie is Peppa's best friend. This photo was taken when we were babies, says Susie. Peppa gasps. We have been friends since the olden days. Susie likes playing doctors and nurses. Who will be our patient? wonders Susie. I know, says Peppa. We can ask my daddy. Sometimes Peppa and Susie go camping together. I like sharing a tent with you, says Peppa. I like sharing a tent with you, says Susie. Peppa and Susie are both in a secret club. Can we join too? asks Rebecca Rabbit. Yes, whispers Susie. Just say the secret words. Flobble, double. Peppa has lots of fun with her friend Susie. When Susie goes away, Peppa feels a bit sad. But when Susie comes back, everything is twice as nice. Peppa loves Susie sheep. Everyone loves Susie sheep. Peppa loves playing with her friend Susie Sheep. They love dancing together. Next, we are going to read Petro Pony. This is Petro's, Peppa's friend, Petro Pony. Petro likes skateboarding. Come on, Peppa, shouts Petro. Let's have a race. Peppa gets on her bicycle. Ready, steady, go, she says. Sometimes Petro is a little bit shy. Sometimes Petro is not shy at all. Peppa and Petro are both in the same school play. You are very good, Peppa tells Petro. Almost as good as me. Petro has a pet stick inside called Stephen. Hello, Stephen, giggles Peppa. A stick insect is an insect that looks like a stick. Petro likes playing pirates. Ah, calls pirate Petro. Who 
wants to help me got some pirate treasure? We do, shout Peppa and her friends. Peppa has lots of fun with her friend Petro. When he grows up, Petro would like to be a superhero. But Peppa thinks Petro is super already. Peppa loves Petro Pony. Everyone loves Petro Pony. Peppa loves playing with her friend Petro Pony. They like pretending to be pirates together. Next is Kylie Kangaroo. This is Peppa's friend Kylie Kangaroo. Kylie lives in Australia. At Kylie's house, the weather is warm and sunny most of the time. At Peppa's house, the weather is only warm and sunny some of the time. Kylie's house is a long, long way from Peppa's house. When she goes to visit, Peppa has to ride in an aeroplane. I love sleepovers at your house, says Peppa. Just like Peppa, Kylie has a little brother. Joey lives in Mommy Kangaroo's pocket. Peppa's brother George likes dinosaurs. Joey likes crocodiles. Kylie and Peppa love exploring together. They have been even under the sea. My mommy is a marine biologist, says Kylie. She studies sea creatures. Peppa has lots of fun with her friend and Kylie. Kylie shows Peppa how to surf on top of the waves. And Peppa shows Kylie how to jump up and down in muddy puddles. Peppa loves Kylie kangaroo. Everyone loves Kylie kangaroo. Peppa loves playing with her friend Kylie kangaroo. They like surfing together. Next, we are going to see the book, Gerald Giraffin. This is Peppa's friend, Gerald Giraffin. Gerald is very helpful. If Peppa's ball is stuck in a tree, Gerald gets it down again. Gerald is tall for his age. His mommy and daddy are even taller. Hello, Mrs. Giraffin, Peppa waves. Hello, Mr. Giraffe. Hello, say Gerald's mommy and daddy. Gerald and Peppa like borrowing books from the library. This story is about a red monkey, says Peppa. We can read it together, says Gerald. Gerald can sing all sorts of nursery rhymes. Can you guess my favorite? asks Gerald. Peppa giggles. <laughs> Is it Twinkle Twinkle Little Star? Peppa has lots of fun with her friend Gerald. She will never forget their trip to the zoo. Days out with Gerald are always exciting. Peppa loves Gerald Giraffe. Everyone loves Gerald Giraffe. Peppa loves playing with her friend Gerald Giraffe. They like reading stories together. Next, we are going to read Freddy Fox. This is Peppa's friend, Freddy Fox. Freddy likes playing pretend. I am a policeman, says Freddy. And you are an arrest. <laughs> Snort Peppa. What a funny game. Freddy is very musical. He can play the triangle. I can play the guitar, says Peppa. Let's play together says Madame Gazelle. Freddy is very good at smelling. He has a super nose. What do I smell of Freddy? asks Peppa. Mm, Freddy sniffs flowers and muddy puddles. Peppa and Freddy like going to new places. They even have fun at the supermarket. It's fruit day, says Miss Rabbit. Who would like a smoothie? Me, please, shouts Freddy and Peppa. Peppa has lots of fun with her friend Freddy. Inside Mr. Fox's van, there is a treat for Freddy. 
and one for his good friend Peppa. Peppa loves Freddy Fox. Everyone loves Freddy Fox. Peppa loves playing with her friend Freddy Fox. They like making music together. Next is Danny Dog. This is Peppa's friend Danny Dog. Danny likes having adventures. My daddy has been around the world, says Danny. We can go around the world too, says Peppa. Sometimes Peppa goes to play at Danny's house. I am a sea captain, says Danny. Look at my boat. We are your crew, says Peppa. Danny knows a lot about boats. He says there is nothing better than being on the water. All aboard, calls Danny. Full steam ahead. Peppa and Danny can be very quiet. They can also be very loud. Bang, bang, bang. We are a marching band, says Peppa. Let's find things to bang, says Danny. Bang, bang, bang. Peppa has lots of fun with her friend Danny. Peppa's grandpa and Danny's granddad are very good friends. Just like Peppa and Danny, Peppa loves Danny Dog. Everyone loves Danny Dog. Peppa loves playing with her friend Danny Dog. They like sailing together. Next, we are going to see Candy Cat. This is Peppa's friend Candy Cat. Candy is good at skipping. Watch, Peppa, says Candy. Can you count with me? Okay, Peppa nods. One, two, three. Candy's mommy works with Daddy Pig. Mommy's job is all about drawing shapes on a computer, says Candy. What a nice job, says Peppa. Peppa and Candy have lots of fun together at playgroup. Today we are doing ballad, says Candy. Let's dance, says Peppa. Follow me. Sometimes Peppa and Candy go to the petting farm. It's full of tiny little animals. I love the chicks, says Candy. I love the guinea pigs, says Peppa. Peppa has lots of fun with her friend Candy. Even when they both want to dress up as witches. They still have a magical time. Peppa loves Candy Cat. Everyone loves Candy Cat. Peppa loves playing with her friend Candy Cat. They like looking after little animals together. Next we are going to read George. This is Peppa's brother George. He loves being tickled. Come here George says Peppa. Tickle, tickle, tickle. <laughs> Sometimes Mommy Pig measures Peppa and George. Look, George, you are getting taller. You are still smaller than me though, says Peppa. Because he is still small, George cannot speak very well yet. What words do you know? asks Peppa. Dinosaur, says George. Peppa and George have bunk beds in their bedroom. Peppa sleeps on the top bunk. George sleeps on the bottom bunk. Peppa plays with her little brother George every day. She likes looking after him. And he likes looking after her. Peppa loves George. Everyone loves George. Peppa loves playing with her little brother George. They like sharing a bedroom together. Next is Daddy Pig. This is Peppa's daddy, Daddy Pig. He has a big booming voice. Daddy Pig likes doing noisy things. Ho ho, he shouts. Let's shake, rattle and bang. Daddy Pig knows how to make the best muddy puddles. How is this one, children? asks Daddy Pig. Just ride it for jumping, says Peppa. <laughs> He is always happy to try new things. Daddy is riding on horsey twinkle toes, gasps Peppa. Yes, I am, 
shouts daddy pig help daddy pig is very sporty he is especially good at watching sport on television come on the blues cheers to daddy pig papa has lots of fun with her daddy even an old newspaper can be interesting then daddy pig is around papa loves daddy pig everyone loves daddy pig papa loves playing with her daddy they like doing silly things together next is mummy pig this is papa's mummy mummy pig she can do anything papa liked it when mummy pig helped with her school project i only helped a tiny bit says mummy pig Sometimes mommy pig comes into play group to read books. This story is called Funny Onion. Says mommy pig. <laughs> Peppa and her friends laugh. Mommy pig looks after Peppa, George and their toys. Teddy has got all muddy. Says Peppa. Don't worry. Says mommy pig. We will take her to the doll hospital. Mummy Pig is brave. She has even done a parachute jump. Peppa and George cheer. Hooray for Mummy Pig. Peppa has lots of fun with her mummy. Sometimes Mummy Pig works hard on her computer. But she always have time to play too. Peppa loves Mummy Pig. Everyone loves Mummy Pig. Peppa loves playing with her mummy. They like going to the soft play center together. hope you all enjoyed reading all this 12 books with us it was really interesting no peppa's family and friends see you soon on another book until then bye please subscribe to our channel to watch more videos from us hello everyone today's video is the introduction of the incredible peppa pig collection with 50 amazing story books and if you don't believe me look at it all 50 books that we'll be reading in the next i don't know a month so this these books will take a very long time and we will be reading one book every day so stay tuned every day and just watch them all shall we open it now oh days it's very tight Oh wow, look at all the 50 books. All so tightly packed together. I'm sure you all can't wait to read all of these because I definitely cannot. So shall we start opening these up? Oh, they're awfully tight. Um, those are all the books. Shall we go through them more? Pepper and George's Garden. Grandpa Pig's Greenhouse. The Fire Engine. George's Birthday. Foggy Day Gram Grampy Rabbit Boatyard Bubbles Grandpa Pig's Computer Grandpa Pig's Boat The Library Grandpa Pig's Lawnmower The Time Capsule The Ambulance 
V Museum. Wow, there's still so many more. Pepper's Treehouse. Grandpa Pig to the rescue. Treasure Hunt. Windy Autumn Day. Pepper's Lunch. Pretend Friend. Rock Pools. Pepper Learns French. Shake, rattle, and bang. Simple science. Stamps. Sun, sea, and snow. Grandpa, Granny and Grandpa Pig's attic. V power cut. Wow, still so many more. Pepper and Susie's argument. Grandpa Pig's toy plane. International day. Gran Grampy Rabbit's lighthouse. Magic mirrors. Miss Rabbit's Taxi. Mummy Pig's Books. Mummy Pig's Blackberries. Numbers. Pepper's Painting. Pedro is late. Pedro's cough. Pepper's pen pull. Pepper's school project. Babysitting. Doctors. George's friend. George's woolly hat. Grampy Rabbit's hovercraft. Last few ones. Digging up the road. Canal boat. And Grandpa Pig's little train. Oh, wow, so many books we're going to explore from the incredible Peppa Pig collection with those amazing 50 books which you have just seen. And yes, we will be reading one every single day, so don't miss out and watch till the end of every video so you can join our amazing Peppa Pig adventures. For now, subscribe, like the video, share and 